let's begin how to hold the violin and the bow in the Indian context. So the way I've, I hold the violin is, so you see it's the same western violin with just a different tuning. So I put the violin underneath my collarbone here for support and one leg is folded and the other leg is stretched out, the right leg is stretched out and I put the scroll of the violin on my ankle. So because of that my hands are free and the collarbone holds the violin here. So this is the main reason why we are able to play all the glides, slides, gamak, murkis and everything in Indian music which is not possible if you hold the violin this way because you do not have support here. You need support here to move your hand up here. If you don't have that you, you cannot if you are holding, you are trying to hold it here too. So that is how you hold the violin. Now for the bow. So you have the bow here. So you, you just put in your thumb in here like this. Okay. And you have four ridges in your fingers. One, two, three, four. So basically between the second and the third ridge. So you hold it like this and you, you put your fingers like this and hold it. And your little finger is right here so this is so if you bring it over here if you hold it here then that's uh, I I would that's that is also probably right but this is better this is the Franco-Belgian way worldwide which is used this is the Russian technique but this is the Franco-Belgian way which is used all over the world so this is how you will hold the bow so you put your finger in here your thumb in there stick your thumb in there and then that's it so your middle finger should be touching the thumb right and then now how do you bow you do not start from here you always start from here You shouldn't bow out here, you shouldn't bow closer to the fingerboard. You should bow right in the middle between the fingerboard and the bridge. And it should be perpen it should be parallel to the bridge. So when you move like this, if you shouldn't your hand shouldn't go this way. This angle is wrong. This is wrong. So when, from here when I look here, it should be parallel to the bridge. For people who don't know, this is the bridge and this is the fingerboard. So it should be right in the middle and only when you bow parallel to the bridge will the bow have the grip to get the proper tone of the violin. Otherwise, it's going to slip. You saw that? That's wrong. And the other thing is when you bow, if you... This noise comes because you're not moving your bow. The bow movement has to be even. Very, very even. If you slow down, this tone will come. So. And use even pressure and movement. If you do not use even pressure, it's going to have this noise. And you also, 
if you play it soft thinking you you are going to avoid that noise then you are not going to get the full tone of the violin so it has to be even movement and pressure mm -hmm. 